Invocation by Jane Johnston Schoolcraft. Read by Frank Blissett. Rise, bravest chief of the mark of the noble deer. With eagle glance, resume thy lance and wield again thy warlike spear. The foes of thy line, with coward design, have dared with black envy to garble the truth and stain with a falsehood thy valorous youth. They say when a child thou wert ta'en from the Sioux, and with impotent aim to lessen thy fame, thy warlike lineage basely abuse. For they know that our band tread a far distant land, and thou, noble chieftain, art nerveless and dead, thy bow all unstrung, and thy proud spirit fled. Can the sports of thy youth or thy deeds ever fade, or those ever forget who are mortal men yet, the scenes where so bravely thou'st lifted the blade, who have fought by thy side and remember thy pride, when rushing to battle with valor and ire, thou sawest the fell foes of thy nation expire? Can the warrior forget how sublimely you rose, like a star in the west when the sun's sunk to rest that shines in bright splendor to dazzle our foes? Thy arm and thy yell, once the tale could repel, which slander invented and minions detail, and still shall thy actions refute the false tale. Rest thou, noblest chief, in thy dark house of clay. Thy deeds and thy name thy child's child shall proclaim, and make the dark forests resound with the lay. Though thy spirit has fled to the hills of the dead, Yet thy name shall be held in my heart's warmest core, and cherished till valor and love be no more. That was Invocation by Jane Johnston Schoolcraft. Read by Frank Blissett.